Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today is a special day. It is the Wrapped 2023. The Spotify Wrapped 2023 is out now. Uh, honestly, like I'm a little giddy excited going through these things. I'm a huge stat nerd, and I love music, and so I love seeing um, my Wrapped when it comes to the year end, and I'm super excited. So uh, before we get into it, I do want to make some predictions. This was a year weird year for me in terms of uh, top artists and songs, or I really don't know a whole ton uh, where it could go. My guess for artists is going to be uh, actually, I think Quadeca might be number one. Um, and then my guess would be Quadeca, Boy Genius, and Eden would be my top three. And then maybe later, it's like a, uh, maybe like a Night Punk and then a Skrillex or something like that. Um, it's just a weird year for me where I'm a mainly an EDM listener, an EDM fan, uh, but I didn't listen to uh, a ton of like one singular EDM artist, but there were a couple other artists from other different genres that I like really latched onto this year. So, um, but yeah, and then for songs, I'm going to guess uh, Quadeca's uh, Fraction of infinity um yeah that one may be a boy genius not strong enough i think eden balling might still be on there uh night punk mtv might be there uh yeah, there's a couple that i'm yeah i'm not 100 sure but uh but yeah i'm excited to hop into it uh i think let's get oh yeah fantasy world quadek i think that one's coming out too but um let me uh, hit record on my phone here and then let's get going and see what my spotify rap looks like for 2023 so without any further ado here we go hello dakota Bowtie Media. That's me. It's rap time. Ready? Let's do this. I'm ready. What are we going to be? What's it going to be? Turn three was a feast for your ears. 101 genres. My wife listened to nine. Had your taste stack up. Nine is so low. What's it going to be? This is kind of fun. EDM, gaming EDM, future-based dubstep and pop. Maybe my artists aren't going to be Quadeca and uh, and uh, Boy Genius. Boulder, USA is where most they're my fan, where people like me. Oh, Desa Fluence on Holo. Is that where Red Rocks is? Am I crazy? 6,118 songs. Top song was Boy Genius with Not Strong Enough, a nice 69 times. But you had room in your heart for more than one favorite. Is it going to be so much Boy Genius? Oh my gosh. Not Strong Enough, 20 bucks, Satanist, Fantasy World, and Fractions of Infinity. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll go back and look, look at those top 100 at, at some point, but man... Boy Genius Quadeca running through my top songs. Six, 60,000 minutes. That's that's low for me. That's low for me. That's actually low for me. I peaked October 18th. Huh. Interesting. 3,007 artists this year. And it, it's Boy Genius. I, there's no way it's not. Top 1% fan. 1,787 hours or minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Not strong enough. That makes sense. That is a track I absolutely adored this year. Yeah, Boy Genius peaked in April. That makes lots of sense. Uh, and then Pete Donald and G Oh, this is a fun. Oh, no okay, number two is Skrillex. Beat Quadeca. Wow. You can see the whole top of the year was Skrillex. Eden is three. That's the first time Eden's not been number one on my list. And on the list, I should say. Odessa's still at four. Wow, Odessa's still managing to make this every time. And then... Joji. I am shocked that Quadeca did not make top five, considering that he was my four and number five top songs. Interesting. What a weird list, I must say. That is such a weird list. Boy Genius, Joji, Skrillex, Eden. It's just such a weird list. And then, okay, oh, this is what they did Thank last year for stuff. Thank you for being a Boy Genius fan. Thanks for streaming our music. What's the worst part of having Boy Genius in your Spotify wrapped? Telling your family you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> that is hilarious. That <laughs> Very not. I <laughs> I have a wife. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. Uh, what is this? Shapeshifter. One moment you're head of heels for an artist, the next you've <laughs> moved on. <laughs> yep, that's kind of how I listen to music. Yes, exactly. Same time next year we will. Let's see. Okay, yeah. What a weird list for me this year. Okay, let's go through um let's go through those actual songs though, because I want I'm curious to see what my, my top list is. So where did it make this playlist? Here we go. Let's see, my top actual ones are Not Strong Enough, 20 Bucks, Satanist, Fantasy World, Fractions of Infinity, and then Leave Me Like This. The the number six song is my first actual like EDM song. Uh, and then True Blue, Call Me Back, Foolish Thinking, and then Rumble. So another EDM. Like, man, there's really not a ton of like pure EDM in here. And we am sorry, Billions, Ball and House Settling, uh, With You Without Them, The Palaces Remix, which I really loved. It was one of my gym songs. Um, Supersonic, Save Me. I forgot about Kimbra. I listened to a lot of Kimbra uh, early on in the year. Uh, cool About It, Sunset, uh, Xena, Promise, Anti-Curse. I'm surprised Promise is here for Mitchell. And here's fly to you, sci-fi, inhale, exhale, we're in love, butterfly net, I walked right into it, the trials VIP, uh, revolution, really the, I guess the VIP, wait, what, because there was the space laces one that I, is that the right one, I feel like that's a weird one, revolution zero, smoke, ratata, holidays, letters to an old poet, bunnies, a writer, you belong, build myself, do you believe me, oh, James Blake loading, I'm surprised this isn't higher up, walls, Jonas Brothers, MTV, night punk, wow, I predicted that was gonna be like top five, that was way lower, Glimpse of Us, Joji, Deserve You, Mitchell, Elsewhere, Blood and Butter, Moth to a Flame, Tears, Scare in the Hose, Heavier, Closer to, uh, Selecta, Goaded, Goaded made it? That one feels weird. I Don't Want to Fight, Why, Hydrate, Infinity, Repeating, Leonard Cohen, PS1, Still Here, Bada Done. That's crazy because I started listening to Jason Status, Jason Status later on in the year. But Then The Dark, Die for You, A Street I Know, Reaching Two, Can You Feel the Love, Every, t uh, every Time the Night Starts. Red Light, I Know the End, Liquor and Cigarettes, Butterflies, Tell Me a Joke, Grounded, uh, Kinstugi, Too Bizarre, Exit Music, uh, Feeling Like the It's the End, Lean Beef Patty, Fever Dreamer, Sorry for Dying, With Love Until We Die, Garbage Pale Kids, Easy Money, Second Guess, Getting Hot, Don't Mind Me, I Won't Fail You, Gruesome, Pretty Melody, 70, Earthbound, Ch uh, Say the Word, Fire, You Want Him, I've Officially Lost Vision, Before the Day's Over, Jio, Waiting Forever, Oh, 1am, Freestyle, Too Hot to, uh, to Touch, and Life time this is probably the first year ever that uh grant's constellations has not been in my top list uh that's my favorite song of all time and that is the probably the first time that tracks hasn't been on this list which is uh, kind of crazy but wow okay um if you can tell from my listening habits there's a lot of like just individual albums in here that i listen to so the the boy genius album the quadeca album the skrillex album the kimbra one caroline polachek like a lot of the the top like whatever 50 is just dominated by these specific albums because those are ones I've just played over and over and over and over again. And so you can just see that my listening habits, I, I listen to it like a, I, I think a fair amount of a variety of music, but there's some that I just latch on to so much more throughout the years. And so, um, yeah, this is a very fascinating year for me. Um, but let's quickly do a look back at what uh, my years past have been. Okay, I whipped up some quick graphs because I uh, love graphs. And if you look at my minutes listened throughout the years, um, I started around like the 60,000 mark. And this is my lowest in the last six years total, um, which is kind of crazy for me because I feel like I've listened to a decent amount this year, but I guess I was just a little bit slower than I have been in the past. But um, yeah, so 60,000, just almost 61,000, but uh, that's uh, quite fascinating. And then if you look at my top five artists, uh, that is also throughout the last six years. Um, definitely noticed some trends. Uh, Eden was number one in 2018, 2020, 2022, and then, uh, yeah, uh, the in the middle of 2023. So, And then Odessa has been there. As Odessa has been there a ton. And then Joji, which is weird because Joji uh, was the last one for 2023, but then was the second in 2020. So that's a weird one. I, I don't get Joji, not going to lie. Um, I don't understand why Joji's there. I felt like that one was a really odd one for me. I feel like I did not listen to that much Joji, but maybe I just did earlier in the year and I'm forgetting about it. But yeah, that's besides the point. Um, 
But yeah, uh, thanks for uh, watching alongside me and uh, <laughs> looking at my Spotify wrapped. Uh, definitely surprised and not at the same time with all that this was. But uh, yeah, I'm, I am I just love this. I think it's so fun. I'm going to go back through those playlists and just jam those even more uh, on top of this stuff that I already got to get going for this year. But um, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. So thanks for sticking along. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear what your guys' top artists of the years are, how many minutes you had listened this year, and uh, um, also how many, how many different genres you listen to. I kind of want to know that. But other than that, I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.